Before you allow and block traffic by application, it is advisable to block traffic from IP addresses that Palo Alto Networks and trusted third-party sources have proven to be malicious. The security rule will ensure that your network is always protected against the IP addresses from the Palo Alto Network's malicious IP address feeds and other feeds, which are compiled and dynamically updated based on the latest threat intelligence. Ensure the security rule is logging at session end and a log forwarding profile is applied to track activity. This is the first step in the BPA Plus wizard. You have been redirected here by either clicking the button in the BPA report or from the Get Help section. The first step in the process is to select Browse to upload your tech support file. Navigate to the tech support file and click Open. Now that the tech support file has been successfully uploaded, we can continue to the next step in the process. The next screen that displays is just to let you know that you need to set up the PanOS CLI for BPA+. This is how BPA+, remediates your issue. Click Next. The next step is Select Failed Checks. For this demo, we're going to select the Malicious IP Address Feed Outbound. Click Next. At the very top, you'll see a message, Please copy and execute the commands below to create log forwarding profiles. The BPA Plus Wizard has determined you need to create a log forwarding profile. This step must be performed prior to continuing on with the BPA Plus Wizard. I'm going to copy the commands to the clipboard. Now we'll switch over to the firewall CLI to enter the commands. Once we log in, simply paste the commands we got from the BPA Plus Wizard. And now we'll go back to the BPA Wizard and continue. This log forwarding profile will be used at the commands at the end to remediate the issue. At the very top, you can see Please Review the Best Practice Settings and select the desired option for your config. The message below that says Traffic from known malicious IP addresses to be blocked in outbound direction. We can see that the Best Practice Settings is selected. We can see in the security rules over here, the security name, malicious IP outbound, and a description and the parameters to set for that security rule. Since all of the parameters are highlighted in blue, this is a new rule. We can verify that by selecting existing settings. Notice under here it says you don't have any existing settings. Also notice the message at the top, are you sure you want to deselect the best practice settings for this profile? We advise against this as it will make your system less secure. So we'll go ahead and select Best Practice Settings and click Next. At the top you can see a message, Please review your changes before execution. Your existing configuration will be updated once the PanOS set commands are executed. The next section is Generate Set Commands. There's a Copy All Commands button here. This is helpful if you're remediating several best practice checks. You can copy all the commands to remediate all of them. There's an important message about commands. Due to the limitations with certain terminal emulators and command line interfaces, we recommend limiting the number of lines copied to 20 at a time. The next message down here talks about configuration changes will not take effect until after a successful commit. Please be sure to follow your company's policy with respect to making configuration changes. Next we'll look at the commands. The first command is configure, which puts the firewall into configuration mode. The second command creates a security rule with the name malicious IP outbound and adds a description. The next several commands set the parameters in the appropriate tabs for the security policy rule. For the general tab, source, destination, application, service URL, actions, and usage, the settings are necessary to comply with best practices. This command sets the log setting to the basic log forwarding profile. The next command sets the log at session end to yes. And this command moves the rule to the top. The next command exits the configuration mode. Now let's go ahead and copy the commands and enter them on the firewall. We'll go ahead and paste these into the firewall CLI.
Doesn't look like there's any errors. So for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and do a commit operation. The configuration committed successfully. Now we'll take a look at the firewall UI and view the changes. We'll navigate to policies and under security rules. We can see the malicious IP outbound rule has been created here and it's on top. If we select the rule, we can view the name of the rule, the description. Here's the parameters we set with the commands to any destination. We see that the destination address is Palo Alto Network's known malicious IP addresses. Actions are set to deny. Log at session N is selected. And here's the basic log forwarding profile. This concludes the demo.